um, this flip flopping back and forth. Am I good enough? Is that right for me? Uh, do I really deserve that? And those are negative thoughts that you really want to um, remove from your train of thoughts. Don't preoccupy yourself with that type of energy, okay? Just know what it is. Be a little bit more directed, I guess, when it comes to what it is that you want. And know that you deserve it and know that, you know, it, it's on your path for a reason. So you have to take go that extra step to get it. But I feel that for a lot of you, um, you're doubting whether or not you are, you know, you're meant for it and it's uh, it's unnecessary, okay? So move forward and don't be stuck with the, the mental energy where you are doubting yourself. So the, the way this spread works is we have four clusters here. This deals with your overall energy. We have three advice co cards and this is the direction that you need to head towards, okay? And then after this, I'm going to gather up the cards and we are going to do the love reading. So what I'm going to do here is keep these covered for now, and then we'll go back to them in a little bit. Um, okay, so first of all, first cluster that we're dealing with here, th these are finances, and these are very, very good financial cards. At the same time, what it deals with is some family uh, property, some... Um, it can be business with family members or it can't just be some real estate management family property coming through, okay? First off, we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is a card about generational wealth. This is a card about financial stability. A lot of you, this is something that you're thinking about. It's weighing heavily on your mind and you're finding ways to achieve financial prosperity, not only for yourself, but for your family unit, for your extended family members, for your own nuclear families even. And it is especially prominent here because we do have as well the Six of Pentacles, which also indicates children, uh, family wealth, wanting to create something of value and to leave a legacy for your children, okay? So a lot of you are thinking long term um, at this present moment. You are thinking how you can direct or steer the direction of your life so that you can be able to achieve this. A lot of you also are in thinking about, you know, joining assets together potentially with a uh, business partner or a romantic relationship partner. One of you might be, you know, swimming in money. The other one might have half of that. So together, it's a tricky situation and you have to find ways to get around this. But I do feel, you know, financial um, considerations are going to be very prominent this month. It looks very good. It looks very stable. The only thing is the 10 comes came out before the 6. So I'm going to say that there might be a lot of expenditures around the household, fixing up the household, making it comfortable, purchasing new items in order to make it a home and as well expenditures when it comes to children, okay? Uh, enrolling them in lessons, you know, the, doing all the extracurricular activities so that they have a good foundation. And I feel that it is really important for you to um, do what you can. Children, they, you know, it's nice to cultivate their skills. It, it definitely is. But I feel like that can be done cheaply and it can be also done within the home. All right. So I feel like for a lot of you two family members might come to you to ask for money or to even um, there, there might be some financial worries. You're asking um, family members for money or for a loan or they likewise will come to you. I don't feel so much financial institutions, but the Six of Pentacles usually indicates a financial windfall as well. And this is, you know, asking for loans for a business, for a startup, for some type of uh, projects that you're planning to do. It looks very favorable, okay? It looks very favorable. I would say branch out in the direction that you want to look. Look at small banks, small micro, uh, like credit unions, as well as big financial institutions as well. I feel like the, the smaller route is, is going to be more favorable for you for some reason, like small micro uh, finance institutions or even credit unions, all right? The next cluster that is coming through here is the sun and the judgment card. You have a new beginning coming through, and this is a... Uh, related to success. This is the, the sun card. It indicates like the public image that you project out into the world. I feel like in March, we also are dealing with the spring equinox and it is a really major powerful energy that heralds um, a new beginning in our lives. And also Pisces, I, I forgot, I want to wish you all a very happy birthday as well. So going back to this image, I feel that it is you know, indicative of a solar return type of energy where you are going to be able to achieve a lot of success. You have a path 
to to head towards and I feel that it means closing some doors in order for these things to happen it means taking care and making sure your financial foundation is rooted it means you know donating all the stuff that you don't use moving uh, property moving houses looking for a new place potentially starting a new job where you are going to be in a more public capacity where you're going to be in the spotlight something is being shown on you like I feel like a spotlight being shown on you and a lot of the times it means you know with the judgment card it's basically the day of reckoning so if you think about it it's sort of like a, a reassessment you know um, where am I who am I what do I want to do am I really happy with the way my life is right now if I'm not happy what can I change about my life so there is a, 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 a sweeping transformative energy coming through that is making you questions these really deep existential but also philosophical but also long-term types of questions regarding you know your life path regarding what you need to be successful so I feel like it's more career public image success oriented and it is also through family that you are going to achieve some kind of some types of blessings some types of help okay for a lot of you there might just be dividing up assets between members of the family and um, it's going to be finalized this month I feel so it's bringing in financial windfall and also a new lease on life is, is what I'm, I'm sensing here. So the next cluster that we're dealing with is once again some type of conflict. And I feel that for a lot of you it is playing out in the work environment because of the pentacles energy. So the two of pentacles is juggling. Juggling your finances. This is um, trying to get by and trying to assess if you have enough in order to do something. I do feel that behind you we have the five of wands which is a conflict card for those of you who are dealing with estate planning who might have like somebody um, who might have inherited something I feel like the asset that you inherited might be divided up between multiple people siblings family members things like that people in your environment even and there's a little bit of contentiousness around it because I feel like there's competition Okay, there's competition and there's also multiple parties involved. And I'm reading this more in a financial way, not so much related to love. Although we're going to do the love reading next and see if that same energy pops up. But I do feel either way, this is a, a conflictual disagreements and things like that. But I don't feel that it's harsh. It's not a physical battle. This is more competition and it's a playful energy. And it's not harsh in the way that the Five of Swords is harsh. So I wouldn't worry about it too much, but I definitely feel um, you're getting a lot of information from people. And, you know, people around you might be combative. And they're like, he said this, she said this. And you're trying to get the whole, you're trying to get an unbiased version of the story. And at the same time, you have a lot of things that, that you're dealing with and you don't really want to get involved. So I feel that you are potentially on the sidelines. Um, you don't, you're a peace loving sign. And when people around you are fighting and especially people that you care about and they're fighting each other, you just, um, it, it makes you feel emotionally destabilized. So even though you might not be involved in this conflict, I feel like it does emotionally destabilize you. Well, the advice here is you've got a lot on your plate and there's no need for you to get involved. Okay. So don't let somebody else's problem messes and conflict create emotional turmoil within you. Uh, get yourself a little bit more grounded um, this month. Okay. Pisces. Next cluster that we're dealing with, we're dealing with movement. So this is moving house. And this is also, you know, letting the conflict behind. So I mentioned closing some doors, closing some doors for good. And, you know, sometimes we have to close those doors to protect ourselves because I feel like if you're feeling financially uh, destabilized or emotionally destabilized as a result of this two of, two of Pentacles energy, you are going to have to take a break, close those doors for good. Or take a break, come back to it when you're in a better state of uh, frame of mind, when you're able to objectively assess and hear both sides of the story. So I feel like the ends of cycles are coming through for you. And I actually would prefer it if these 10 came out before the judgment card. But I feel that the judgment card is more about, um, it's linked up with how we see ourselves, our sense of um, 
what we deserve, getting what we deserve, and demanding what we deserve. So the judgment card is bringing in this new sense of uh, self-awareness. It brings about a new sense of self-confidence, not settling for less anymore. So I feel like for those of you who have been going through problematic situations where you were um, too nice or where you were like being trampled on and you you don't really stand up for yourself, all of that is coming to an end because I feel that by this point you know who your friends are and you also know I need to close some doors on some people I need to lock some people out I need to physically change my environment and invite in better energies so I can't go back and do things the way I've been doing because it's laden with financial worries It's laden with conflict within family units so a lot of you might be moving to a new property a lot of you might have accumulated enough wealth and you're moving to a place, you're possibly moving in with new family members who are going to provide a lot of love, support, new um, structures for you. I also want to say that um, I feel, I feel it, it's a very business oriented type of month. It's public image, business, finances. And those are the, the three major things that I, I'm sensing will be conflictual for this month. Love relationships, I'm not getting that too much. You have a lot on your plate and I feel like your attention is diverted elsewhere. But I definitely see some major movements happening for you. And um, you know, sometimes it feels like we want to be proactive and we want to take the preemptive strike and walk away. But I feel because you're a water sign, you sign, you've been hesitating. You know it wasn't good for you and you've been hesitating for quite some time and now you're kind of being pushed away from it, possibly against your will. But now you can't go back to it because you know that, oh, well, I, I've been waiting for such a long time. I should have done something sooner. But now that, you know, it's the end of the line, I actually have no choice. So you're moving forward. And I feel that both of these cards are indicative of endings, okay? Major endings when it comes to possibly business deals. Major endings when it comes to reassessing some of the people that you have in your life and figuring out that you know perhaps they did not have your best interests at heart and it is important to ally yourself with people who are who care about you so i feel like you know who your friends are you know who your foes are which is great so let's leave it there and let's look at your advice All right, so in terms of the advice, this is where you're supposed to be headed, okay? So keep that in mind. First of all, there is a fire energy, a very strong fire sign in your mist. And the fire sign is um, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. And there is a sense of separation with this person. We do have the, the Three of Swords here. So I definitely feel for a lot of you, you are not going to have a choice and you are going to have to close some doors. And it's interesting, the Five of Wands, um, it's a Wands energy, it's a fire energy. It deals with conflict. We do have like a very conflictual person energy in your midst. They themselves might not be combative, but together, I feel like because you're a water sign, they're a fire sign, ideologically and philosophically, you don't mesh very well. I, I do feel that. I feel like there is a cunning energy. Somebody might be very self-absorbed, might be very self-serving. And I feel that, I feel like a lot of the times you might intuitively sense it, but this is the month in which you feel it. You feel that, wow, they're, they're not, they're, you know, um, individualistic and they're not working as a team player. I feel like that's that's what's happening here and it's kind of like you know what do I get out of this or and it, the energy can flow both ways so I feel like there has to be some type of separation distance coming through in order for you both to disengage from the conflict and to reapproach this situation in the future when you both are you you both have enough distance and objectivity between the two of you and you can come back together and resolve this in a more, um, I would say, productive manner. Because you're working at cross purposes with one another right now. And I feel like that person has a very strong personality. And they are very, um, they're, they're very like, um, they're, they're, on, they're taking more of a moral high ground. I also feel there's a lot of um, 
energies that is steeped in family traditions. You know, this is like somebody who might be uh, very, I, I almost feel like dogmatic. And keep in mind, I don't read reversals, and the, the traditional meaning from the Rider weight deck is not going to apply here. But I definitely feel that this is somebody who is very strong-minded, possibly very stubborn. But I feel like there is a, a sense of like um, possibly even conservativeness or even dogmaticness about them, where they, they, they're stickler for rules. And I feel like that's what you're getting here. And um, you want a little bit more free-flowing energy. And um, I feel separation from with a fire sign. And the cups energy here, the four of cups, indicates you. I feel that for a lot of you, you miss this person. You, you really, really miss this person. The separation might have happened within the past six months, within the past three months. There might have been a lot of conflict, and it was just, you know, inevitable. But I feel like you were dragging your feet and, you know, things had to to be done. But uh, you were po possibly dragging your feet. And the longer you drag your feet, the harder it is for you to move on. And I feel like that's what's happening here. I still feel some type of long distance, um, you know, internet based communication coming through. And but I, I don't feel that you're seeing them in, in person. But I feel that you're missing the person. You want them to be in your life. You wish things were different. You're pining for the past. You wish things were different. But I feel like for this month, Pisces, you are going to get a lot of support from your family unit. You are going to get a lot of support from, you know, some... Um, I feel more of the paternal side of the family, relatives, friends, and, you know, just relatives from the paternal side of the family. I feel like family is going to be the major uh, catalyst for change and for restoring your faith and for making you feel quite good and confident about your course of actions. So for a lot of you, if you're going through separation, divorces, endings of relationships as well, business partnerships or love relationships, you're trying to get um, other people from your family to for advice you're coming to them for advice and you're asking them you know what should I do and the answer actually lies within because your family they're going to be supportive no matter what you decide to do but I feel that some members of the family especially the the old generations are just like no stay together make things work because that's how we do it and the young people are just like well there's a lot of conflict and there's a lot of um, imbalances within that relationship so maybe you should let it go so you're getting you're getting you know this generational divide and you're you're getting um, advice from people who are biased based on their own life experiences and the way they look at the world and the way they see relationships so the answer does lies lie within Pisces but I feel that there is still um, you're pining for something from the past and you know you can't go back to it and I feel like the the finality is starting to hit you know the that whole sense of I can't go back I have to move on and I feel like the you have to do the whole mourning process okay you have to come to that acceptance stage so that you can move on now finances looks very good though so not to worry but I feel like you are a lot of you are distracting yourself with work and things like that in order to recover from some type of um, separation from somebody who's very dear to you, near and dear to you, who was very near and dear to you in the past. So let's see what's going on for Pisces for love for March 2016. So once again, I'm not going to be reading reversals, um, not with this deck because it's a non-traditional deck. I'm going to pull out five cards. The interpretation is going to be a little bit different. So we've got the Judgment card once again, which is very good. So the message I'm getting here is um, Pisces, um, especially for those of you out there who have, um, who have been doing something that you're not supposed to. Um, stop, because I feel like some type of exposure is going to happen for this month. You want to be careful about that, okay? 
is not a good time to do that and start out your solar year with any type of indiscretion or with any type of um, it's just bad vibe and energy to bring forward with you for the rest of this year so if you are in that position I feel very strongly some type of exposure happening skeletons being dug out of the closet and things like that so you want to just be very careful Okay, so you've got really very, very good cards. Um, first of all, you have two kings, and that's always a good sign. When the kings show up, they're very, very powerful, charismatic, enigmatic, strategic, intelligent people that are coming through for you, okay? Especially for you ladies, Pisces, who are dating males. Um, good, very good love month. So first of all, because we have two males, we also have the lovers, there is, I feel, if you're in some any type of a love triangle, any if you're in, involved in any type of indiscretion, be very careful. Be very careful because, um, first of all, we have the judgment card, which brings about new beginnings. There are two, three people here. One person seems very, very upset, and it's also kind of like that day of reckoning where things will be exposed and we have to atone for our sins where we have to like um where we have to answer for our actions so i feel like something is happening here and it's not too favorable for you so if you've been doing something you're not supposed to i feel that you want to stop now okay what i feel coming through at the center of the spread we have the hermit and the hermit card in this deck i feel like it's a sense of isolation I feel that for a lot of you, um, you haven't really been dating. And this is the month in which dating prospects are definitely going to come through for you. A lot of you have been bo um, bogged down with financial issues, family planning, estate, and things like that. And um, love was really not on the forefront of the agenda. I feel kind of like um, for a lot of you, you've been burned. I honestly believe that a lot of you have been cheated on. And you're at a point where you are very self-protective and you're afraid of meeting new people. And you know, the, the worst things about infidelity is that it's, it's not just a betrayal. I mean, that's an obvious one. But a lot of the times we question our, our self-worth and we question, you know, what didn't I do right that where the other person, you know, feel like they have to seek others outside of the relationship it cripples our self-esteem and it's even worse for a lot of us if we're digging for answers we want to know who the mister or the missus is or we want to know who the third party is and we're like obsessively going on social media stalking where we are obsessively trying to dig for information and um, when we are digging we feel like that sense of um, it, it's like a an adrenaline rush and it's also where you're looking for information, you're digging for data, you are researching. And the further you go down this rabbit hole, the more isolated you are going to feel. Okay, so for those of you who are dealing with this, um, I know it's, it's hard, but walk away from it. Find something a little bit more productive to do. To do. And I feel like it is a rabbit hole and you're keeping yourself holed up and you're keeping, it, it's like a drug. It's a huge adrenaline rush when we're doing something we're not supposed to. So this can also apply if you're like obsessively stalking or, you know, trying to dig for information. It's not serving you any good. So, you know, walk away from the computer, um, get some fresh air, get some sunshine. Okay. And um, I feel that for especially singles, you have several options here. And I do feel as well, you are going to meet somebody who is going to be very, very good for you. And I know for those of you who have recently dated or have recently broken up, you're in no position where you feel like, I don't really want to be around people. I just want to live in my little den, in my little man cave or woman cave. I don't really want to go out and socialize. But crowning you here is the lovers. And the lovers indicates, a. this is a really good depiction of it. It indicates, first of all, that there is going to be some physical magnetic attraction to another person. This is something that is ordained and divinely uh, led into your path, okay? So regardless of whatever gender you're dating, 
and I'm reading for 80% of my viewers are like women. So I feel like something is being brought into your life. If you are a woman dating males, you have some really strong alpha males that are coming through. You have the king of wands and also the king of cups. I also feel like this is a situation where you're a little bit timid and I feel like they're, they, uh, they excite you like, you know, physically, but also you're a little bit intimidated. There might be some, um, just feeling out of sorts, feeling as if, you know, not being comfortable in your own skin, body image issues, thinking that it's too soon to date, but you know, Things happen on universal time and we can't really control it. It's when you're not looking for love that it's around you, right? It's pretty ironic how that always happens. So I feel like you have something in store for you, Pisces. And it's mainly because you have stepped away and you are doing other things in the universe. It's just like, well, now that you're doing other things, here's what you should work on. So I feel like for a lot of you, this is happening for you. The hermit also indicates, you know, spiritual guidance as well. Something is going to cross paths with you. It, it seems like to me, like it's very serendipitous, like it's going to happen because we have some major arcana in this quadrant, which brings about, you know, some, something faded, something outside of your control. And I feel like this is you. Even if you're kicking and screaming, you're not going to be able to avoid this. So this is something pot potentially... A new relationship coming through that has the elements of stability associated with it that you need okay and I feel like for especially those of you who are in committed relationships like I mentioned you or your partner might feel a little bit neglected I feel like for you you might feel a little bit neglected so you're kind of like demanding a little bit more attention or doing resorting to some type of attention seeking in order to get some type of confirmation or in order to get you know more uh, affection from your partner and the cards are saying that's a great thing to do actually because um, it, it goes both ways maybe your partner's not aware of this but at the same time if your partner feels a little bit isolated I feel like some grand gestures are coming through from your end in order for you to rekindle and reconnect with your partner for those of you who are single I do sense that um, the foundation is the king of wands the king of wands is it's a really um, passionate person, okay? So you might be dealing with a fire sign, sun, sun moon, or rising, Sagittarius, Leo, um, Aries. You might also be dealing with a, another water sign, another, you know, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But I'm reading more of this as your energy. But either way, you you are going to be pretty much fired up. You're going to feel that passion coming through. And it's unavoidable. Whoever you encounter, I do sense you are being divinely guided. I do feel there is strong protection from the universe for the union to come together. I also feel as well that you both are very similar in your mannerism, okay? Because both of them shows up as kings. And I feel like people who are pretty much like in the same life station, they might be have the same interests, they might be on the same career track, or they might just be like um, very good equal partners. So I do sense one person is very passionate, you know, like uh, physically. The other person is very passionate emotionally. So you can't really go wrong dating this month, Pisces. And I, I feel like even if you were to try to avoid it, um, unless, you know, you, you keep yourself stuck in your house and just don't go out at all. I feel like something is hovering around you. It's actually all around you. And it is very positive, okay? I do feel, though, um, the hermit. There's a lot of fear associated with this. And the fear is, it's not like, you know, it's, it's not fear about relationships. But it's more like a lot of you might be afraid of confrontation for some reason. I'm picking that up. A lot of you, if you've been seeing multiple people, you might be afraid of confrontation and you might be you might be afraid of what to say when the confrontation happens either from your end or from your partner's end but I, I feel like there is that sense of you know communication like I said truthful communication is going to be very important for you it is really important for you to put your foot down and decide 
what it is that you want and be very clear about what it is that you want. You know, when people ask you, I, I feel like you're dealing with two people that are a little bit impatient. And when they ask you like, well, do you want to go here or here or here? Be very clear because I feel like they, they want somebody who is decisive, okay? They want someone who's self-assured. They want somebody who is um, just like, who executes plans, ideas, and who, who don't hold back. So I do sense that you're dealing with some very, very strong alpha, you know, very strong leadership, um, part, like, people with us very strong leadership uh, qualities and also very strong um, I feel like even if you're if you're dating women for example too the women are very decisive they're very strong per they have very strong personalities going back to the path the advice earlier the the Queen of Wands did show up so a lot of you too might be you know dealing with a uh, very many uh, fire signs who are impatient as well. So I do sense that don't keep them waiting, okay? If you like them, make a show for it. Don't keep them waiting because I feel like a sense of impatience with them. I don't feel they're going anywhere because um, they like you. But I, I do sense that you are the one that has to make the gesture in this situation if you want it to move ahead. Because I feel like they're kind of like, oh, I've done a lot of the work in the past. What do you have to show me? And you have to make the gesture, you have to like proclaim how you feel in order for this situation to take off, okay?